Welcome to another exciting season of NASCAR Heat from Infograms. This year we've got a whole new crop of exciting racing scenarios for you to master. One of the huge additions to the franchise this year is the inclusion of three more NASCAR racing leagues. For the first time anywhere, you'll have the chance to test your skills at everything from the short dirt tracks of the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series to the wide world of open wheel racing in NASCAR's Featherlight Modified Series. Heck, if you're good enough, you might even get to try Daytona without a restrictor plate in a NASCAR Craftsman truck. Let's not forget the big guns of the NASCAR Cup Series. Think you have the horsepower to master them all? The only way to find out for sure is to strap yourself in and try to beat the heat. This season, NASCAR Heat is getting down and dirty by letting you compete in NASCAR's grassroots series, the NASCAR Weekly Racing Series. The series is run all over the country on a variety of tracks. In NASCAR Heat, all of the Weekly Racing Series will be run on dirt tracks. In this first challenge, it's your chance to get a feel for what it's like to drive on the dirt. You're coming into the final turns at Dundas County Fairgrounds and need to reach the finish line in less than 13.5 seconds for a bronze. 12.75 for a silver a time of 12.4 seconds will earn you the gold. The NASCAR Featherlight Modified Series is actually the oldest division of race cars in the history of NASCAR and the only open-wheeled series in the NASCAR Touring Division. Modifieds are the most unusual looking cars that race under the NASCAR name, looking something like a cross between a sprint car and a dragster. It's the only tour in which the cars don't have fenders, so go easy on the bumping. In this scenario, you need to take a smooth, fast line around turns three and four at the New Hampshire International Speedway. You need to cross the finish line in 17 seconds for a bronze, 16.6 for the silver, and if you can achieve a blazing 16.3 seconds, you'll take home the gold. Now, you may have to take a few cracks at this one to learn the feel of the car. NASCAR Featherlight Modifieds are very light, responsive vehicles, and they can take some getting used to. Good luck. Hello race fans, I'm Ken Schrader. Besides being a Winston Cup driver, I'm also the owner of Schrader Racing and sometimes the driver of the number 52 Federated Auto Parts truck. The Craftsman Truck Series started in 1995 and has quickly become one of NASCAR's premier racing series. Craftsman trucks run on many of the same tracks as the Cup cars, but as you will quickly find out, due to totally different aerodynamics and a lower compression engine, they're a whole new beast you'll need to learn to tame. For your first taste of truck racing, see how well you can handle turns three and four at Martinsville. Turning 13 seconds flat for a bronze, 12.6 for silver, and if you're a real ace, 
turn in a time of 12.3 for the gold. I'm going to let you drive a number 52 Federated Auto Parts truck. Just make sure you don't scratch the paint. Good luck. Okay, now you've had a taste of our three new series, let's turn up the heat a notch. For your fourth challenge, we're returning to the NASCAR Featherlight Modified League, and we're going to put you behind the wheel with one lap to go and three cars ahead of you at Mankato Raceway. Use the lightweight and great handling of the modified car to weave your way to the front. Pass one car for the bronze, two for the silver, and if you can overtake all three, you win the gold. Nice job in that modified. Think you can do as well in a NASCAR Craftsman truck? Well, let's try an almost identical scenario, this time at Dover International Speedway. The trucks have a lot more weight than the modified you just drove, but they also have a lot more power. Can you outsmart the other drivers and find a way to get to victory circle? Again, third wins the bronze, second the silver, and you need to beat them all to take the gold. Drafting has become one of the more important aspects of NASCAR Winston Cup racing. For this challenge, we're going to put you on the track for a little practice session at Talladega. You need to stay in the draft of Ryan Newman and cross the line in under 50.5 seconds to take the bronze. It may take a bit of practice, but once you master this technique, you'll be a powerful force on any super speedway. Breaking 49.6 seconds will earn you the silver. And to prove that you're the master of the plate tracks, follow Ryan to the flag in under 49.2 seconds.